got a request from one of my students to make a video on the digestion of carbohydrates, the digestion of protein, and also the digestion of fats. But this particular video is going to be talking about the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates. If you are a nursing student or you are a nurse and you are finding it difficult to understand the digestion of carbohydrates and what happens when carbohydrate goes into our body and what happens about how it's been absorbed into the bloodstream, this video is for you. Good evening everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecturing YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference and I make learning easy and accessible for students. Like I earlier said, this video is going to be talking about the digestion and absorption of carbohydrate. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, kindly click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't this out. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be telling you about the digestion and absorption of carbohydrate. For instance, you take in bread. What happens? Remember they normally tell you digestion begins in the mouth. Generally what? Digestion begins in the mouth. So when you take in bread, you take in bread, through this your mouth, definitely you are going to chew, right? There's going to be mechanical and chemical digestion in the mouth whenever you take in what? Carbohydrates. There's going to be what? Chemical and what? Mechanical digestion in the mouth when you take in carbohydrates. I know you might be wondering what is mechanical digestion? And also, what is chemical digestion? Mechanical digestion has to do with the mouth. Mm, you see the way I'm chewing? That's mechanical. I'm using my mouth, right? I'm using my muscles. I'm using my jaw to chew. I'm using my teeth. So that is mechanical digestion. Then when you talk about chemical digestion, it has to do with these enzymes that have been released into, um, into the food to help it um, digest properly. So whenever you're talking about chemical digestion, you're talking about enzymes that are acting on the food. And also, whenever you're talking about mechanical digestion, you're talking about peristalsis, you're talking about chewing, you're talking about the function of your jaw coming into play when it comes to food. But before I go into details, I want to let you know that there are basically different types of carbohydrates. First of all, we have the monosaccharides. The monosaccharides has just one, one sugar in it, that's one glucose in it. Then we have the disaccharide. The disaccharide is made up of two types. Then we have the, um, the oligosaccharides. The oligosaccharides is between 2 to 10. Then we have the polysaccharides. The polysaccharides is from 10 and above. Like the name implied poly, it is many. You get so whenever we take in food now for example i took in bread now i take in bread so what happened is that first of all there's going to be mechanical and chemical digestion of that carbohydrate in the mouth so that carbohydrate you take in there's what we call them amylose and amylopectin it has to be broken down and what does that is that during the process of chewing the saliva comes into play, right? The saliva releases what is called salivary amylase. Salivary what? Salivary amylase. So these salivary amylase act to break down this amylose and amylopectin in the starch you eat, in the food you eat, in the carbohydrates you eat. So it breaks this larger um, carbohydrate, it breaks the bigger, bigger carbohydrate, which is your starch, which is your uh, your oligosaccharide or polysaccharide. It actually breaks them to into what? Dextrins and matos. So just know that in the mouth, there's what? There's mechanical and chemical digestion of carbohydrates. The mechanical digestion has to do with you chewing. And another name for chewing is mastication. It has to do with what you chewing. And the chemical digestion has to do with the act action of the amylase, that the enzymes in it. So in the mouth, salivary amylase acts on this amylose and amylopectin in the carbohydrates you eat. Then it forms these dextrins and matos. It breaks it down. And one thing you should note is that during this process of chewing, mechanical and chemical digestion, that matos that is being released actually makes carbohydrates sweet. Seriously, the matos that is being released actually makes what? Makes carbohydrates sweet. So generally, 
5% of the carbohydrates are being digested in the mouth. It's all good though, just as you 100% of carbohydrates is being digested in the mouth. There will be a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar in the mouth and that can lead to what? Tooth decay. Take note, mechanical and chemical digestion takes place in the mouth. After the mouth has finished its own, a bile is formed, then it goes where? From the digestive system, it goes where? It goes to the stomach. Is anything taking place in the stomach? Alright. When this bile gets to the stomach, there is no chemical digestion because amylase does not act on acidic um, environment. And you know the stomach is acidic, right? So what, happen about, um, what happens to the carbohydrate you eat when it gets to the stomach is just mechanical digestion. The stomach will be churning the food. Yeah, mix it, mix it, mix it to mix the food. That's the only thing that takes place in the stomach when it comes to what? Carbohydrate digestion. So from the stomach, it goes to the small intestine. And you know when food leaves the stomach, it forms what we call chyme. So this chyme goes to the small intestine. On getting to the upper part of the small intestine, there's what we call pancreatic amylase. Looking at the diagram now that's showing, we have a, there's a relationship, there's a connection between the duodenum, that's the upper part of the small intestine, and the pancreas. So immediately that food gets to the duodenum, pancreas release what is called pancreatic amylase. Remember in the mouth it was salivary amylase. So in the pancreas, there's what we call what? Pancreatic amylase. This pancreatic amylase is being released into the duodenum to help further break those dextrins into smaller glucose, into smaller chains. So aside this pancreatic amylase being released in the small intestine, the intestinal cells that line the villi of the small intestine, they release different enzymes, they release different enzymes, which are the sucrase, the matase, and the lactase. The sucrase, the matase, and the lactase. These generally, they are known as the disaccharides. If you notice, their name are disaccharides. That's two sugar, two glucose. So what do this thing do is that, Sucrase acts on sucrose. It breaks sucrose down into glucose and fructose, which is small sugar. Then matase breaks, breaks um, the glucose down. It breaks matose down into glucose. Then lactase breaks galactose. You get now, it works on galactose, it breaks it down. So these are the function of these disaccharides. They help to break those disaccharides into smaller uh, glucose, into smaller sugar. I don't know if you get now. So these are what take place in the small intestine. If you notice, most of the digestion of carbohydrate takes place in the small intestine. I don't know if you get that. So that is what happens in the small intestine. And you've been hearing people say, oh, whenever I take milk, I start having diarrhea. I start having blotting stomach. I start having abdominal pain. It's as a result of what we call lactose intolerance. Most people, they don't have, those people, sorry, they don't have lactase. They don't have lactase. And when they don't have lactase, this lactase move into the large intestine, bacteria start acting on it, and they start coming down with that diarrhea signs and symptoms. So it's not somebody's fault when they tell you, oh, whenever I take milk, I react to it, I start having diarrhea. It's as a result of insufficient lactase in the intestine, insufficient lactase in the body to act on the lactose that results in both lactose intolerance so when finally finally all these things are being broken down into smaller pieces into glucose they are now taken into um, the inside of the intestine where absorption cannot take place in the body so they are not distributed into the bloodstream and the first organ that gets glucose is the liver the first organ that gets glucose in the body is the liver so the liver source excess of this glucose as glycogen do you get that so that explains all what the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates in the body in conclusion let me go over it again remember that the digestion of carbohydrates begins where in the mouth first of all there is mechanical and chemical digestion in the mouth and the stomach is just mechanical digestion 
but most percentage of it takes place in the small intestine where the pancreatic amylase act and also the enzymes release such as your sucrase your mates and your lactase and after that they have been absorbed into they have been taken inside the intestine and from there they have been absorbed into the blood stream hope you understand thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching our video if there's any question can you drop on the comment section or you can send a message to us on our whatsapp number showing on the screen for those that have not registered for our classes on telegram seriously you have been missing a lot when you register for our classes on telegram you have access to all our voice notes on the various system cardiovascular respiratory and digestive system and also when you register for our classes on telegram you have the opportunity to ask questions whatsoever that you have been taught in class that you are not cleared then that's an opportunity to ask this question for us to either prepare a voice notes for you or make a video particularly or specifically for you so if you have not you are missing a lot all you have to do is to send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching our video don't forget to like don't forget to share with a friend if you got value see you in our next video that's going to be talking about the digestion of protein bye